Hey guys, JR again. Hope you're all well. Um, this video is going to be about my favourite DVD box sets that I have in my collection. I'll do a Blu-ray one later on, but that one's going to probably be a bit longer or a two-parter because I've got a lot more Blu-ray box sets that I'm a little bit nuts for. But um, I've got my top five, uh, although the, the first one I'm going to show you is actually going to be a two-parter because it's two box sets that make one box set, if that makes sense. Okay, so here we go, my top five DVD box sets. So this is the first one, like I said, it's two box sets, but they're technically one box set. It's a Russ Meyer collection that comes in the Russ Meyer's Wide Box and the Russ Meyer's Mondo Box. Now, each of these, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten films on it. One, two, three, four five, six, seven films, seven or eight films on that. They're the Japanese releases. I haven't seen them very much at all. I think they're pretty cool. Um, they've got the Maya Girls in the front, Maya Girls on the back. I'll just pick one to open. I'll, I'll pick his wide box to open. As you can see, they sort of open right out and they have Japanese posters and all of the discs within and they they go out even wider than what my camera frame can go although that disc just fell off um and one of them has a really cool documentary about Meyer in it unfortunately it's all in japanese and it's about the japanese fandom of russ Meyer. so uh it's an interesting watch what are they saying i have no idea but it's very rare that you see some sort of behind the scenes stuff of russ Meyer. so that's that's probably my number five pick if we're counting down from from uh, five to one. Okay, so number four as we're counting down is this one, the Pinky Violence Collection. Now, Pinky Violence are the uh, Japanese girl gang films of the 70s. Uh, this has got Delinquent Girl Boss Worthless to Confess, Girl Boss Gorilla, Terrifying Girls High School Lynch Law Classroom, and Criminal Woman Killing Melody in it comes in this awesome pink vinyl cover. It's got all of the, the movies on disc in there. There's a booklet about Pinky Violence films. And one of the stars of these films was a, a woman by the name of Raiko Aiki. I've probably pronounced that wrong. I'm not Japanese. I'm terribly sorry to the entire culture for my lack of respect in mispronunciation. Uh, but it's actually, she was a, a singer as well. And... Um, it's got a bunch of, of her, a CD with a bunch of her songs on it as well. It's high pitched and annoying sort of J pop from the 70s, but you know, it, it's a nice addition to a collection like this. The films are from 1971 to 1973, and, and they're basically just uh, girls in prison getting angry with each other, hitting each other, tearing each other's tops off and then fighting it up against whatever man is in charge. Um, a lot of fun, these films. I can't recommend them enough. I'm not sure if this is still available. This was from a company called Panic House, who I'm not even sure are around anymore. But um, if you can grab a copy of this and you like uh, 70s sort of girl gang films, this is a must have. Okay, so th this, this next one, this is the third on the countdown. This is um, the B-Movie DVD collection, apparently a limited edition. Um, that may be true, I'm not sure. I, I haven't seen any others around, to be quite honest. Uh, it's got 12 films on it, some of it public domain, um, some of it not. Uh, it's got Return of the Killer Tomatoes, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Night of the Living Dead, Slugs, which is awesome, about to come out on Blu-ray, Hell Comes to Frogtown, Rats, Creature, Crocodile, Spiders, Return to Horror High, The Stuff, which is the killer yogurt movie, and Octopus. Now, it comes in this pretty awesome box set that has the movie's covers down the side and then listed on the back, which is obviously what I just read. The other cool thing is when I open the box, the picture on the cover of the box is actually along the spines. Now, I have seen this in a set before, but not a box set of Roger Corman ones where it actually says Roger Corman across the top and has a little picture of a UFO with Roger Corman sitting in the UFO. Um, they're not the, none, none of these are the greatest films in the world, although Night of the Living Dead is in it. But um, I 
don't think I paid too much for it. And that was the sort of thing that made me think of how cool it was. 12, 12 horror movies, all in one box. And you could basically, what do I feel like watching this weekend? How about all of these? So, the B Movie DVD Collection Limited Edition. It's a, 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 an instant horror collection, if you can grab one. This is the Emilio Miraglia or Miraglia Killer Queen box set. Uh, it has two films in the box set. The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Now, these are two uh, Italian films. Um, they are s described as psychosexual thrillers of the Italian giallo cycle. They're giallo, essentially. But the thing that makes this so cool is this... <laughs> it's got this little statue, a little uh, vinyl statue of the, um, of the Red Queen. And it's horrible. It's just the worst thing you've ever seen. It is ugly. It was... God knows... God knows, A, who sculpted it, and B, who went, yeah, that's perfect. It looks like a melted-down Batman toy from 1972. Um, but really nice box set of the films. I'm not sure if they were available before this. And I think Arrow in the UK have since done a, a better release on Blu-ray of the films that are in here. But when it came out, when, when I got my hands on this, it was like, oh, this, this is just such a great way to have these two films, even though it does have the, the poxy thingo in it. Um, it was a great way to get these two films. Um, this was from No Shame. Came out probably, oh God, I'm not, not sure how long it came out now. 2006, 10 years ago. This is 10 years old. Um, that's no excuse for the bad quality of the toy. They were making good toys then. Anyway, this is my number two on my countdown to my, my favourite box sets. Not surprisingly, we all, we, we all know that I don't mind a movie based on a, on a comic based on Alan Moore's V for Vendetta. Uh, this box set I think was Best Buy or something like that in the States. It's the two disc version of the DVD. It's got the movie on one side and the making of, and then it's got a whole pile of really cool extras, including an actual uh, documentary about Guy Fawkes, who um, V for Vendetta's mask is based upon. Um, but that's not the cool thing about this, and I just adore this because of this. It has a, porcel a mini porcelain mask, so it's not a full-size mask, you know, you can see there compared to my hand, it's obviously not going to be something you can wear. But it's made out of porcelain of um, the Guy Fawkes mask that V actually wears in, um, in the film. Uh, it's got a little bit of a doodad about the other stuff that's in here. But just for that porcelain mask, I fell in love with this. Uh, I wasn't, this was one I had to buy in the secondhand market because I couldn't get one. But luckily a, a friend of mine from uh, one of the horror movie boards I used to be on went, oh, I've got a spare of those, are you, are you nuts for that? Yes, I am, I'll take that. So th this forever has been the, the favorite box set of DVDs that I've ever had, just because, just for the sole reason of how awesome this little extra is. It's a great film too, which is a, which is a plus. Like it's not like the Emilio Miraglia one where the it's funny because of the toy. Like it becomes kitschy because of the toy, but the films are actually still pretty good. This is an awesome extra for a really cool film. Um, yeah, I, I just absolutely love this. One of the one of the best films ever made, and, and possibly one of the best extra toy things ever made. I just wish it was full size so I could wear it around the house. But yeah, so that, that would be, that's my number one, my number one box set that I've got of all of my DVD box sets. So that's my favorite DVD box sets. I'll do, like I said earlier, I'll do a Blu-ray one later on where I'll actually probably have to do that in two parts because I've got a lot more Blu-ray box sets that are super cool. Anyway, don't forget, subscribe. Please subscribe, see all my videos, see all my stuff. See all my junk. It's the best thing that you can do. Like this video. Share it with friends. Tell your mum about it. You know, just tell everybody. I don't mind. Um, don't forget links to www.towatchpile.com. That's where my movie reviews end up. We'll be down here and we'll be back soon with a new video. Thank you very much for watch watching. Uh, see you soon. Bye.